What's up, YouTube and Unreal Developers? Uh, before I forget to say it, please do like, share, and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to publish to the Unreal Marketplace um, any sort of blueprint assets. So, uh, first off, I've actually got the review checklist that you will get back if you have some failed tests. So, this is really helpful. Um, this is everything they're actually checking for. So I'll just kind of scroll through this a little bit. You can see some of the things I failed. Uh, product title can't contain subjective language that I had easiest at the end of this, or at the beginning of this title. I changed it to the letters easy, and they were okay with that. Uh, this was the actual first one that I ever developed, so that's why there's so many failed tests here. Uh, this was the most recent one, and this was my first attempt. You can see I just had a couple. Uh, so if you don't pass the first time, don't be discouraged. Uh, so yeah, they wanted me to change my organization of my folders a little bit, change the naming structure, and I'll kind of show you how to do all this. So let's take a look at, and let's make sure actually you can see all of this. You can pause at any point if you need to. Alright, so what does your project need to look like? So this is what I'm publishing today. This is my localization simplified tool, which I'll post the link for this in the description. Um, so in your content folder, should, you should only have one subfolder. So this is my localization subfolder. Because everything from this content is going to get exported. So you only want one folder to contain everything else. Uh, so, you know, kind of just be wise about how you subdivide this. They they might not even like this actually, they might want me to change how this is, is divided, but it's a really small project so I think they'll be okay with it. Um, always prepend, you know, what kind of an, uh, what kind of class it is, so, you know, what, 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 what is this asset, I mean, what kind of asset is it? So I have struct prepended here, because it's a struct object, for ob OBG, OBJ for object, um, blueprints, widget blueprints, etc. So, yeah, not too crazy there. Um, as for your blueprints themselves, just be you know kind of smart and make it nice and readable. Uh, sorry, that was a bad one to go into actually. Uh, let's see here. Let's look at this. So, you know, just kind of keep your coding clean. Uh, you know, try to be smart about it. Uh, if you had a much, if this was much larger, I'd probably start abstracting this stuff to functions and whatnot. But keep your code clean. Keep it well annotated, commented, etc. Keep it all in one folder. Prepend what kind of uh, asset is to the beginning of it and be consistent about that and yeah that's the most critical things for your project now before I close this and just kind of always make a habit of doing this when you're making blueprint assets go ahead and fix up redirectors and folder I know I'm not gonna have any problems there but just just do it <laughs> it's gonna save you some uh, some trouble all right so we've done that we've got our project set up um, let's close out of this now what you would want to do, all right, so now you go into your project folder, and there's a few things we're just going to delete here. So we're going to delete saved, intermediate, derived data cache, gone. Content, uh, you want to leave this, of course, delete collections and developers. So now you should just have config content with your one folder, and your U project. So now whatever you do, don't reopen this until after you compress this to a zip. And then once you do that, uh, you'll need to upload this to your uh, cloud storage of choice. Uh, for me, I'm using iCloud. I've already got this uploaded here. So I'm not gonna walk you through the process of uploading to a cloud server, of course. Okay, so. Once you've got that done, uh, if you don't already have a publisher account for Unreal Marketplace, you want to go to the publisher portal for Unreal Marketplace, not Epic Game Store, just to be clear. There is there is a difference, they're not the same, that can be a little bit confusing. Alright, now that you've got your account set up, um, it'll bring you to this page right here. This is the Marketplace Seller Portal, uh, so you're going to want to go ahead and add a product. I'm not going to do that because I already have a draft made so that I can save us both some time here okay so 
first step you're going to want to add all your images and you'll see they want 1920 by 1080 if you try to upload something other than that for the gallery specifically it won't let you uh, you can have one to 25 images and i highly highly recommend this tool right here image resizer uh, because this is going to let you just uh, upload an image and really quickly um, change the size of it so all you have to do is just boom boom and I usually like to say a transparent background and it's gonna process it and then you download it okay so yeah good stuff once you have those you can once again do the same thing for the thumbnail or you can actually um, you can change this a little bit easier if you want to you can just use one of these and it'll let you uh, zoom in and out of it and crop it and stuff uh, same thing with the featured image you don't have to resize it but it's probably a good practice to do so product title uh, so this is yeah bordering unacceptable almost I would say that I think they'll let this fly but uh, you have to be careful about subjective text so quick and minimalist I mean I guess that's depending on the person but relatively speaking I think uh, should be pretty quick with my product uh, so set your price this is a really small project I'm not going to charge much for this hopefully it helps people out this is the blueprint category uh, I said this is configuration um, yeah you have to add at least one here I think but yeah there's not always a great category uh, short description so this is gonna pop up like actually uh, you know on, on the, like the thumbnail whenever you hover over, over I believe so make sure it's nice and simple short and sweet and descriptive then in the long description you want to add all the rest of your information so uh, I already made a documentation video for this. I prefer to use videos. It's just uh, quick and easy. Um, but you can do however you like on there. Uh, there you can link to a you know text document. You can document within the blueprint itself. Uh, although I'm not sure if that by itself would fly with the reviewers. You might have to have external documentation. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, so let's see here. Technical information. Make sure this is all accurate. Uh, this is again. This part's almost a little bit subjective the features but uh, you know just letting people know like what's what's your product do what's it all about number of blueprints uh, don't stress too much about this if you're not sure what they want or whether counting as a blueprint or not here uh, they'll let you know if this number is wrong uh, and you'll just have to resubmit one time it's not a not too bad really uh, my product should support both platforms uh, yeah good stuff so then you're going to go ahead down here and create a version, and you can call this whatever you like really. Um, I just call mine all versions, and you're going to copy in your cloud link here so they can access it and download it. And then mine was built in 4.27. Unreal assets are forward compatible, they're not backwards compatible, so uh, mine should support up to 5.3. Uh, make sure and test your assets of course in whatever engines, but yeah, mine should support up to 5.3. It's a very very basic and uh, generic product in a way. Uh, and you're going to put in your platforms that it should uh, support, and this is going to be an asset pack, most likely. I mean, if you're developing uh, something else, then maybe you use the complete project, but for the most part, you're going to use asset packs here. Uh, so, once all that is done, we're just going to go ahead and submit this bad boy for approval. Let's go. Alright, it is submitted. Now you can see I've got it over here in, in approval. And you can also preview your uh, products right here. So, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Anyway, I hope this helped. Uh, once again, please do like, share, and subscribe if it was helpful. And oh, yeah, there's the, uh, there's the support on that. Alright, good deal. And I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for watching.